R2 Builders, welcome back. These are my coin slots. They are a combination of CSL and CSR. As you can see here, I already drew out the layout plan for the coin slots. I am cutting out one side here. Always check your height of your blade. Always make sure you're cutting on the right side of the coin slots. Right here, that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting off one of the sides. After I get through that, I just level it out a little bit more to make sure I'm more aligned with where I need to be. So just continue cutting through this workpiece. You see I get all the way through that. Here what I have is the sides. I've marked that because of how you have to cut this. You're going to look through the top, but you're going to cut down the sides. So get the depth right on your blade. Use a spare workpiece to make sure that you have the depth set right. And always note the orientation of which side you're cutting on because if you cut on the wrong side, you can mess up your coin slots altogether. So I'm just cutting out one side here. We go through the workpiece completely. Now note the orientation where the blade is as opposed to where these lines are. You see I have a little squiggle line. That means that's the section that I need to remove. So I'm going to cut on one side of this. Again, make sure your orientation is right. I'm going to cut on the opposite side, making sure our blade is on the proper side where it needs to be. After I cut that, I go right in the middle and I cut that out. And we're going to repeat this process for the remaining five slots. You see that one slot on the left side and the right side. Here we are finishing this off, so that's one slot done. As you can see, I've got more cut out, and this again, just showing you the same process. Make sure your blade is on the proper side of where you need to be cutting. Some of them, I did it differently. I'd cut each side and then go in the middles, and some I just go straight through the middle as just trying different ways to do this. Here, I'm gonna cut out the angle portion of this. This is going right down the middle of everything on the coin slots. Remember to note the orientation where your blade is as usual. Make sure you have your angle correct. You can only do one side at a time on each particular side. So do all of the right side and then do all of the left side. That's because the blade on your saws, as you know, only tilts one direction. At least that's how mine does it. So you see I'm going through them. Also remember to make sure your height is proper. Use your spare work piece to check that. This is the last on that side, and now I'm going to the other side. You see I still drew those marks down the side on that. That way I knew where I had to cut down the middle. You see this process isn't too hard for cutting these coin slots. The hardest part is drawing it out and just making sure that your cuts go in the right spot. So here I'm doing one more. This is the second coin slot. We have each slot is now routed out. Here is the third one. After we do the third, of course, we're going to do the fourth the fifth, and then the sixth, and we're just going to show you that process here. This is easy, as I said. You just have to take your time, and you just go slow, and you're going to get done with this. Here is the last coin slot right here. I still have this attached to the workpiece for my safety, because it's easier that way. I've got some double-sided tape here. I'm going to put that on, because our board is getting smaller, so we don't want to hurt ourselves. I've got another board right there. Kind of meet them up with our fence put on a spare piece on top just to secure it. That way when we cut, we don't hurt our fingers because if we hurt our fingers, we're no good to ourselves, are we? So safety first, here we go. I am now cutting out the long portion of that, the complete length, that is a different angle. So make sure you set that. And again, remember to check your height each time you adjust your saw. Flip it over, which is what I did here cut out your other angle. And now this is a straight angle. I'm just completely cutting this off all together. And that will complete the table saw portion of the coin slots. The next thing to do is just draw a line in the middle of each slot. That way we can put the indentations in them, which is what I do. I'm using a drill press to do this with my eighth inch bit because that's how wide the slots are. I just slowly move this along the slot. You can make these slots as deep as you want. I made mine a half inch and I just slowly use that drill press, pressing down a little bit at a time, just working this piece back and forth. I clear debris when I need to. That way I can keep my work pace clean and I can see where I'm cutting. And I just do this for all six of these slots going in a half inch deep. Make sure you set your drill press properly to do this. The way I do it is freehand might not be the best way for you to do it if you want a clean job, but this is how I did mine. After you get all the slots out, just drill some holes, that way you can mount this thing. And that will complete making the coin slots, and we'll show you how they fit into R2-D2. So these are the final coin slots right here. I made my holes right there, and then one right here. Each of the slots are a half inch deep. You can make yours however deep you want to make them. Mine are a combination of CSL and CSR, meaning 
the length that I have going from here to here is all CSL. The only difference is my depth from here to here is a CSR style. I didn't think anybody would care, anybody would even worry about that. And this is what they will look like when they are actually in R2. I will have some little bit of work to do on the sides here, but that's okay. That's all part of building. As always, thanks for watching my videos. To get the latest videos, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Have a great day, builders.